scientists from around the world come here for some unconventional treasures preserved under this tar. I get excited about a mouse toe. Shelly Cox works with fossils in this lab called the Fishbowl. It is located at the George C. Page Museum in Los Angeles, which houses fossils of animals and plants trapped and preserved by the tar at the La Brea Tar Pits. Some remains date back more than 40,000 years. We have such a variety of fossils that there is almost something for everyone preserved right here. That's 5.5 million fossils found in the last 100 years. And it's why paleontologists from around the world come here. Chief curator John Harris says even saber-toothed cats and mammoths were no match for the thick, sticky asphalt. They got stuck in asphalt, stuck like flies on flypaper, and if they were lucky, they succumbed to hunger and thirst after about a week. If they were unlucky, they were torn apart by wandering predators and scavengers. It's scary if you were one of them, but I think it's kind of cool that they can, um, that tar can preserve them for so long. In the past, paleontologists focused on the large mammals, but the remains of smaller creatures, such as snails or insects, are now getting more attention. These microfossils give scientists a better picture of the ancient ecosystem. They also tell scientists how organisms are affected by climate change. Unlike the extinct large mammals, the descendants of these smaller creatures still exist, but don't necessarily live in the same place as their ancient ancestors. Well, if we have some idea of how life changes when we have uh, changes in climate, then we can take precautions when we, we're actually going, undergoing those same climatic changes ourselves. We can see what happened in the past, and that gives us a heads up as what's likely to occur in the future. Scientists say the plants and animals preserved in tar can tell them how global warming in the past affected ancient organisms and can help them understand which species may be the most vulnerable as the temperatures rise in the modern world. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.